Hermanos de Telegín, nos encontramos en un especial de lujo. Una mujer que todos ustedes conocen está de visita en la República Mexicana. Tenemos el honor y el placer de platicar con Regina Spector. First of all, thank you very much. It's an honor to talk with you. Thank you so much for talking. Cool. You look beautiful, first of all. <laughs> and and talking, talking about, about the, this album, what we saw from Cheap Seats, what could be the biggest challenge about doing this album? Well, I think the hardest thing is, is always to find the right word world for each song mm -hmm. and then to make them fit because I have so many different kinds of songs uh, sometimes when I finish a record it's hard to tell if it's if it's a if it's a record or if it's just a bunch of songs and uh, I was very happy when I figured out that it actually was a record. It was a big relief. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Now, All the Robots, it's a great uh, single here in, here in uh, Mexico and Latin America. Can you tell us the story behind the song? Well, it's always really hard for me to, to talk very yeah, about, specifically yeah. about songs because I feel like their world, I want to leave it untouched. Yeah, that's and I want to leave it all for the listener to have their own relationship with but it. But what about the creating process of that song? It, it come natural? It come... Yeah, I think I think all the songs that I write end up being just for whatever reason of that moment it felt yeah. right. Uh, but producing that song was really fun <laughs> because uh, we had like two different drummers and program drums and we went crazy with the drums <laughs> and I really love studio stuff you know I love all the the kind of technical like messing around with sounds and different sounds that Mike would make yeah. would inspire me and yeah. then so we we had this he he's uh, you know Mike Elizondo who produced yeah. this record uh, and his engineers they're they're just they they're very special with sound And so we got to geek out together. <laughs> cool. Now, don't leave me. Why, why did you decide to, okay, let's grab that song from the past and transform her again? Well, I, I have done that a lot on all my records yeah. because I write when I write. So it just kind of happens when it happens. And the songs collect. And then all of a sudden, you know, I only get to make records, you know, every few years. Yeah. So by the time it's time to make a record, I, I have to f figure out which songs will get their turn to really, yeah. you know, get that world. That because I they all I, I I never really just hear music as piano and voice. It's yeah. just what I know how to do. So that's how I write. <laughs> and um, and so with something like all the rowboats, when I first wrote it, I, there's so much stuff that I heard. Yeah. And so it was really, it was really cool to get to go into that, <laughs> that world. Yeah. Now it's been uh, three singles for this album. Uh, do you have plans to release another single for this album, or you're gonna start the creating process for a new one? Well, I've had, um, I've had a few singles. I don't know what it's been like in in yeah. Mexico, but I had a few singles in the U.S. and abroad. Here is like, is How, Don't Leave Me, and All the Rowboats. Yeah, that How is the latest yeah. one that I had. Um, I don't know if I would, if I'm going to make any more videos okay. for it, um, but uh, I, a friend of mine keeps wanting to make a video for the party, <laughs> so we'll see. <laughs> but, um, you know, it's, it's really, I really love the, the the creative part of making videos too yeah. i think it's really fun you know sometimes i'm torn about the fact that i think that it it's really good to listen to music as just music and not have any <laughs> visuals to it yeah. but if you are gonna have visuals i love getting involved and making stuff out Awesome. And now, precisely talking about, about videos, we're a music uh, uh, video channel, so I'm going to ask you about two videos and tell me what you remember about making it. First of all, uh, Fidelity. Mm. I got to make that with Mark Webb, who's really <laughs> great. Uh, he made, after that, he made the movie 500 Days of Summer. Yeah. And he great put movie. my, it's a great movie, and he, I, I thought he used my music so beautifully <laughs> in it. I was really, because you know, I love putting my music into films and TV yeah. shows, um, 
but the level of how people use it, it, it it's different, yeah, it's different, you know? Yeah, totally. And he was just so creative with it, and um, I really love it. But uh, yeah, that was a that was a video where he had the idea of um, he'd seen Indian ceremonies yeah. where they throw colorful <laughs> chalk pigments, and I was in LA for two days before going to play two shows okay. at the Royal Elizabeth Hall in London. Awesome. So. <laughs> One day we tried on, you know, the clothes and had the fitting. And then the next day we had the long day of shooting. <laughs> and the thing with those powders is you only get one chance. Yeah, that's true. Because then they're stuck. See, they're stuck, yeah. <laughs> so it was, it, was a really, it was a really cool world that he, you know, envisioned. And, and then we were running around and I was slipping in the back. It was really complicated <laughs> to run around. In it. But it turned out great. And then I got back to the hotel room, and the next morning I'm waking up and I have to fly to London. So he said, "Don't worry, you know, just take a shower." Well, I took a shower, <laughs> <You know. laughs> and I just and all the colors blended yeah. together into this like kind of a green. Yeah. And I was just green, like, head to toe, like, and it was not coming off. Kind of like an avatar. Exactly. <laughs> and and I I uh, more like Shrek. Oh, more like Shrek. Okay. And and I. I tried to experiment. I tried alcohol to wipe it. I tried, you know, this kind of soap, that kind of soap, this kind of sponge. And it's 5 a.m. and I'm still green. Oh. Eventually, <laughs> I figured out that maybe I should try oil because okay, sometimes yeah. oil. But when I was getting into London, when I was going through passport control, yeah. I had green hands. <laughs> and the next day, <laughs> when I played my show, my palms just stayed green it stayed green and so it was it was kind of nerve-wracking to go <laughs> to a show and just be like i am have know, green like hands <laughs> <laughs> but it's a good story <laughs> you yeah. know now another another uh video how the, the last one mm. well how um uh was really uh a, a, a it was envisioned as a slow very um kind of animated um you know with the little animations that happened um video and it was more of like a performance video um it just it 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 was in a strange way it was more complicated to make than i realized yeah. you know in the beginning it would be but i thought that it was a a really 